Hello again, and welcome to Juma Tutorials from Trinity Web Hosting. Today we're going to talk about my new items and what they do for your website. As you can see on the demo site in front of you from ChristenTemplatesOnline.com, the site is equipped with a drop down menu. The nice thing about drop down menus is they allow you to easily organize your site and all its pages into one quick and easy to access menu that's on every page, but that looks nice and neat and small. The template we are using for our demo site, the one you see in front of us right here, is outfitted with drop down menus which are automatically created when you create sub menus. To create a new menu items, we're going to go to the back end of your site on this other tab and go to the menus heading and click on the main menu. This will take you to the menu that comes across the screen uh, the top of your home page right here. As you can see, it already has the um the one menu item we already have on the site which is home. And so just like the other managers, to create a new menu item, simply hit new. The first step within the menu, um, new menu item manager is to select the menu item type. Now for today we're just going to worry about single articles. Single articles is probably the most common type of page you will create with menu items. Um, all the other types of menu items are useful, but you can build a site that looks good almost entirely out of single articles and that should be enough for you to start building your site at this moment. We will talk about other menu items in other types in other tutorials. What a single article does is it connects that menu item to a specific article within your site. So now we select, once we selected the type of uh, menu item, we select the type of the article we want to connect it to. And so for this one we're going to do who we are. And then we type in that title as that menu item. And then you hit save and close. And you'll see that a new menu item appears below this. And if you hit refresh on your home page, you'll see that a new menu item appears at the top of your website. Now we're going to create a drop down item under that menu item. So we go to create a new menu item and once again we go to select single article. On this time we select the article what we believe, because that's the first menu item under that heading. We go what we believe. And then, this time though, instead of for menu root item, we put it under who we are. This way it is a sub menu item under who we are and hit save and close. Now you can see that it's tabbed in, just as the categories were, indicating that it is a sub menu item. And if you go to refresh on your home page, you will see that now there is a drop down below who we are, showing what we believe. You can do this for all the articles you've created on your site in order to organize your site any way you want using one menu that will connect all your pages. That's all we're going to look at today. Thanks for joining us and look for our other tutorials at trainingwebhosting.com.